Bring everybody Scott and get some adventure and training. Today Derek and I set out uh, pretty early in the morning on a little little ride. We just went exploring on the desert and we found this really cool trail. Um, it was actually, it looked like people were running their horses up and down this thing. And it was kind of back in the middle of nowhere and we, we basically stumbled upon it. We were riding down a trench and we came up to this trail and a lot of fun. Um, a little bit harder packed here and then it it kind of got really sandy towards the top and there's a spot right up here where you'll actually see where I kind of stopped there's a bunch of rocks laying in the middle of the trail and you can't really get a perspective off the off the right hand side of the bike um, that that drop off there was probably about I don't know, 12 to 15 feet um, it just kind of goes straight down especially right here the trail gets really really skinny uh, you know you couldn't get up to the left hand side real far it goes up a little bit farther and this is where it turned to sand you can hear me and it revving the heck out of the bike and then up towards the top and the next perspective uh, the next section of trail that's coming up here in a minute i'll watch we'll watch as derek brings his bike up over the top of the crest over the top of the hill here but this was about a week ago um, before i put the super tanker fuel tank on the on the ktm <laughs> Now this this one here this was a really really steep ledge and I always stress that the GoPro doesn't show the perspective and in this case it really didn't. Um, you'll see just up a little ways here I actually end up stopping because I have to go around this bush and it's pretty much a straight drop on both sides. And I would have to guess 45-50 feet um, drop off on each side here so it, it, the trail it gets pretty darn skinny especially off to the right there I mean if you made a mistake and you know it could be turn out pretty bad you might end up uh, rolling your bike down the hill but really really loose sandy desert terrain the brakes were probably uh, I was feathering the front on this one I know and the back was pretty much locked up coming down that all the way and there's Derek coming right behind me And then the next shot is from Derek um, on the first section. He's, he was following me. This is where we were getting out to the horse trail. Or what I like to call the horse trail anyway now because of all the, all the hoof prints that were out there. So I, I put a camera on him, he had a chesty on, just to try to get a little bit different perspective as well. Now this is the beginning again of the horse trail from, from a different perspective, from Derek riding his KX250F horse trail bike. This is when uh, I was really trying to work with him on throttle control. Uh, he does he does really really good. I mean his his skills actually both of our skills have progressed uh, quite a bit just riding this little more technical terrain. We've been trying to we were we were more more or less into desert racing for quite a while, and uh, and we really wanted to to kind of break through and, and be able to do this technical terrain too. So it's it's been a really good learning experience. Comes Derek up the hill, kind of paddling his feet a little bit, trying to stay up. Right, like I said, it's a pretty, pretty steep off to the right-hand side, especially at this point where all the little rocks are in the trail. And the sandy section. <clears throat> Mandy's up at the top. Now we'll show the same perspective as the first time around on me on that ledge. So this is this would be Derek following me down. Ledge trail. I think he does it a little bit faster than I do. Actually, I was I was a little bit more cautious. Oh, 
But again, if you guys want to see a little bit more of this type of riding, this type of videos, um, I've got some review videos that I'd like to post up on different products. Um, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the videos and share the videos. We can kind of get them out there a little bit more. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This end section here is just a little bit of a little bit of desert exploring still. And we're more than welcoming to people who want to come up here and, and ride with us as well. Or if you have suggestions of places that are somewhere near the El Paso area, um, hit me up and we can definitely ride.